Here's my double furnace base I've been working on. It's pretty compact and very space efficient. Hope you like it.
So an important thing to do in this space is to make sure that the floors are attached right here, this is above TC, that they are attached to the wall directly behind them uh, from this view, the highlighted wall. If you have it attached to any other socket, the floors, then they can get splashed through the wall and that's bad because if they die at the same time as the wall, there will be nothing to hold up the roof and then the roof will collapse, and that's not good. This can happen if you place your foundations too low. It doesn't have to be raised very high at all, but it does have to be raised a little bit. The full-sized model of the square roof tile actually will block placement of the furnace here because it's so close. Uh, all you have to do to fix that is to place another roof next to it that would activate a conditional model and have that be at a different tier than the square roof so that it activates uh, a different conditional where it just removes some of the sides and you can place the So here I'm just showing various put inside these triangles. I've done most of the things here. You know, bag respawns for extra teammates, so they have to respawn in the furnace space. You have lockers, furnaces, etc. What you put in there, really, it's up to you. It doesn't matter 
um, the amount of what you do, as long as the important thing that you should be watching out for is just that you don't stack valuable things directly beside each other so that they're splash isolated. Uh, for example, you have a locker, put uh, a furnace window right next to it, and then after that, put another locker instead of having two directly beside each other. First, 